Well, uh, how you describe today's stage of development in cinematography? We know now cinematography became expanded. Mm -hmm. A role of a special effects expert became very different as it was even five, six years ago. Uh, well, I, for me, it's actually kind of almost gone back to the past a bit, where uh, before when people did what I generally do for a living, uh, um, they were uh, special photographic effects supervisors like Doug Trumbull and people back then who knew how to photograph things in a very you know specialized way, unlike the the normal cinematographer on the film. And now that visual effects have become such a part of every movie, it's a photographic or cinematographic knowledge of, of how to frame things, how to compose, how to light, how to do all those things, now get really firmly incorporated into um, a visual effects supervisor, perhaps. So I, to me, it's, it's a little bit of a return back because now, these days, even if you work on a computer, you have to become a cinematographer of some degree because so much of your work is actually in the movie. And because it's so much of it's in the movie, it has to feel seamless with the rest of the film. And if it's part live action, part uh, computer graphic uh, generated material, it still has to feel like it's a photographed film. And it's kind of returning back to, you had a cinematographer do the uh, special effects and you have a cinematographer doing the live action and now it's becoming more or less the same. If you're saying it's coming back to, coming back, what samples from the past you would say is a sample of today's development? Well, for me personally, the, you know, all, all of my films have always, I've always photographed miniatures and various things like that and kind of studied more of the older school of how to do it besides my, my love of doing it. Uh, but now these days you see, any, you could almost pick any uh, uh, photograph film, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever, there is so much virtual sort of cinematography done where they shoot a little bit on a blue screen stage and the rest of it is, is uh, you know, uh, CG sets and it cuts back to back with other computer generated uh, uh, imagery that, ev you know, you could just almost pick any um, superhero movie for sure, any uh, Life of Pi it becomes another example of, of the mix between the two, Avatar becomes a mix between the two. All those things are now, in the last couple years in particular, you could just pick any big movie that has a lot of visual effects in it and it's going to be done pretty much the same way. When you see a movie, you see, okay, I know this is done by a live DP. I, I don't even know that myself and I do this for a living. I could see a shot and I have no idea you put in the three buildings in the background and you added four more. I have no clue. Even as an industry professional, I don't see the separation between the two, it was a seamless blend of whatever one person did and another person did to produce something that if you just saw the plate, it would be okay. If you just saw only that imagery, it'd be okay. But the combination of the two, beautiful shot, convinced me in the movie that I should feel a certain way. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't see a, a separation. You, you, you both made an image that I like.